Mercury, whoa, there's life again. Instead of me sitting there and waiting for you to finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's practice the other way. I'm telling you, okay? So I had this meeting today, you know, with this ignorant boss that doesn't understand anything. And again a meeting, and again something to do at home, and again this, and again this, and again this, and again this. And how are you feeling? Like, how is your heart doing? How is your body doing? What's the difference between that and what I said? Mm. What did I say? Do you remember? Yeah, you said that what is important. No, I didn't start like that. I start with vulnerable declaration. I didn't ask you, because if I ask you right away, mm -hmm. It can be, I mean, even if, if, even if it's an empathic question, where is me? Where is this person asking you? But if I say, you know what, I, I don't really get what you're saying. I really want to understand what's important to you there. Different. Try that again. I don't really get what you're saying. Can you tell me what's important for you? Yeah, I would love to know. I would love to know. First person. I would love to know what Thank you. Important. Thank you. Did you write it down, people? <laughs> okay. Who can read me a list of tools that you already have? There's about five or six already. Here you go. I saw you. Okay. Give her the mic. <laughs> so I don't have five or six. I have four. Okay. We have uh, four. The first was, what does something, whatever they said, mean to you? What does right. this mean to you? Okay. Wait. Wait. So what I'm asking you mm -hmm. is to take your time and enjoy and let it in as you're reading it for all of us. Would you? I, I don't understand what you're asking. The, the rhythm of reading? Uh -huh. Not just reading a list, uh -huh. but feel it. Feel it as you're reading it. So you give us another layer of present as you're reading. I'll try and I'm, I hope it. you'll offer me feedback as I because I'm scared I don't understand what you're asking for. You're scared. <laughs> yes. What's the worst that can happen? What can I do to you? <laughs> See? The social fear. That's all. It's here. Okay? Because yes. I'm the authority. Well, so and because you're just another human being who I'm interacting with who might be judging me. So what happens if I judge you? What is the worst that can happen? That's another tool, by the way. Ask ourselves when we feel fear, what is the worst that can happen? And stay with the question. And you have an answer, and then you ask, and then what? And then what? Very compassionately. Because this fear, what is your name? Catherine. Catherine, this fear has nothing to do with this moment. Not with you, nor with me. Nothing, okay? It's here, it's like sitting on us from <laughs> thousands of years of patriarchy, of being afraid of the other. Mm. That's all. So it's almost like you're not with you and you're not with me. Because I'm with the fear. Yes. Yes. So it's yeah. between us, you understand? Yes. <clears throat> okay. That's why I'm, I'm inviting you to add this to the list of tools. <laughs> it's down there. <laughs> <laughs> And now the first invitation. Let, let's say that you didn't understand my request. So okay. what's the worst that can happen? Let's say I judge you. So yeah. what? So what? We are judging each other non-stop. We're just not saying it. That's the all, the all, the difference between knowing what's happening and not knowing. Yes. But you know. Well, and I know it's going to be recorded. Aha! <laughs> <Aww. laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so then what? Then what? Then me, more your people. judgment will yeah will will be pervasive. It will be the thing that's recorded. <laughs> okay, like this, okay. That I'm an idiot. Will be. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. So let's say ten thousand people think you're an idiot. Yeah. Okay. So what? Go to the question. Go to the sis. Try to feel it. Yeah. Um. It, I guess I've just never gone to the next level before. And I've always stopped there, and it's been right. horrible. That's but it. You're right. Yes, because we are so afraid of the fear that we don't even look there. Yeah. And what I'm inviting you to do is not only look there, explore there. It's here anyways. <laughs> so let's play with it. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. <laughs> See? 
<laughs> That's the new judgment. I'm a mommy now. <laughs> so, 10,000 people think you're an What is it? Idiot? What was it? Yes, idiot. idiot. Okay. So then what? Sit, go there. So then some of those people I won't run into in my life, and some of them I might. And okay. of those, some might remember me and most probably won't. And I might run into someone in the next year who thinks I'm an idiot. Okay, so that assumes that no one that you know already thinks you're an idiot. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> okay, so it's there already. Some people might already think that you're an idiot. They're very advanced, you know. <laughs> they know you better. What's the worst that can happen? That's a serious question. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble like following it at That's all, let alone on the you spot. Know why? Because it doesn't exist. Because the worst you have already lived. The fear? The being judged and the contraction of the, as the result of being judged. You've felt it mm -hmm. thousands of times in your life. Yeah. So you know the sensation. We don't like it, but <laughs> we know it. And we can live with it. You know, it's not the end of life. If I really, really, really go there, and I don't believe the judgment, which is different. If I yeah. believe it, it's worse. Yes. Okay. If I don't believe it, I can be sad, but not <coughs> so contracted. <coughs> Check it. You know, write it down as as like a something to practice. You mean practice not believing it so that it doesn't yes. hurt so much? Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Is there such a thing as an idiot? Does it exist uh, at all? Huh. Does it exist or is it another crazy human invention? <coughs> <coughs> all these words don't exist in life. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. These are names that we had to adopt because this is the way we were spoken to. To learn that there's, there exists the idea of right, wrong thinking, that's the basis of all suffering, and then that there are all these terms that represent something, which they don't. Is there an idiot tree? No. Is there a stupid flower? <laughs> Probably not. Is there a selfish cow? <laughs> no. That's it. Hmm. That's it. Can you, you know, even for a second, really grasp it in your body? Yeah. It's true. So if I think that you're an idiot, for example, mm -hmm. it means I am confused, blind, or forgetful. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense when you talk about the, you know, the idiot tree or the stupid flower or the selfish yeah. cow. Yeah. yeah. It cannot exist. It just cannot exist. I wish we could learn this and, and remember it more and more every day. <coughs> it would be a great relief if it I could see that in my body every day. Yes, <laughs> yes. So write it down for yourself. How you can practice this? You just remind yourself, imagining someone <coughs> judging you. And remembering this analogy of the trees and whatever. Whatever works for you and any of you to come out of the nightmare of believing the right one thinking, mm -hmm. which is a human invention. It does not describe anything real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for walking this way because it's not easy. Because if the first instinct is fear, you shut down. Okay? There's cortisol yes. and all that. <laughs> so you have you have to overcome. I did not have to overcome anything. So for you, more thank you than for me. Seriously. You had to 
agree to walk this. This, you know? Okay. Yeah. So would you like to read the list? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so first, what does the subject mean to you? And so you mentioned that um, it's a way of slowing down the conversation, and it also makes sure that we respond to what the person is actually trying to tell us as opposed to our own interpretation of yes. the subject. Do you hear yourself? How how you, you sound now? Do you hear the difference, people? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. What's the difference? She's present now. She's in her body without the fear. Thank God. That was fast. That was fast. And you can practice it every day and really accelerate your liberation. Really. Okay, I guess I should have asked at the beginning, what does giving the list mean to you? Because I thought you just wanted me to rattle off things so people could write them down. <laughs> now, now, here comes the second crazy layer, which begins with the word, should. I should have asked. Why would you have to ask? We keep discovering life as it shows up. How can we know everything ahead of time? No way. So there's no should in the past, because the past is gone. There's nothing I could do then different. Oh, but that's <laughs> so difficult. I want the undo button. <laughs> Wait a second. Aaron? Yeah. The undo button? <laughs> Thank you. I knew I came to the right place. <laughs> Okay. What can you say instead of I should have? Well, I wish I had. I wish I had. Even that. Why do you wish you had? It's the same story. That there is a right way of doing something. Well, there was there a misunderstanding between us. That's what it. What you wanted and what I thought you wanted is that's it. We're not so, the same. Okay. If you say, I wish I had, yeah. from a place of, you know, mild sadness, I accept it. If you say it from guilt, I don't accept it. You understand the difference? Yes. Yes. Again, oh, I wish I, well, you know. Oh, I wish I, no. Good? Yes. Keep going. Okay. Uh, the second tool that I wrote down was, it, it's broad, and I maybe this is one that was multiple tools, and I wrapped them into one. Okay, let's you get some help. Speaking the unspoken conversation. Uh -huh. So that meant like telling someone, for example, if you're distracted. Yes. Okay, that was Ben's example. Yes. Then came Sonali. Sonali example. The same thing, different subject. Ah, uh, telling them if you're not interested in the subject. Right. Right. Okay. It's daring, daring to speak the unspoken. Yes. Okay. We usually don't do that. No one spoke to us the truth. I mean, almost no one. Right? Yes. So we need to invent it. Which is scary because we will be judged. <laughs> the more we do things different from others, we will be judged. Yes. What is the world you would like to live in? That's the next tool <laughs> to ask myself. Mm. When I go into a conversation, when I walk into the restaurant, when I get out of the restroom, whatever, what is the world I want to live in? Then I go create it. With my words, with my body, not with them changing. Not with them changing, no. with me changing, because I'm the one I have power over. Even this is questionable. You know? <laughs> I mean, there is some access inside. I don't have any access to the inside of others. So if there is a chance, it's inside here. If I really want to create a world that whatever is, it is the world for you, you go, girl. Work on it. It's a wor lifetime work. Yes. OK. So we need a community. Yes. OK. Thank you. Keep going. OK. Um, the next I have is uh, be ready for judgment. It's there anyway. <laughs> now who said it? I said it? I yes, you said it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always true. And, and we will see in a few minutes why we judge and why we won't stop judging and what we can do with that. Thank you. Um, and the next was <coughs> no, this knowing that I'm in my thinking and judgments 
and I want to get closer to my heart and looking for an option of like how that. to get closer I like to my the heart. Way you put it. And so, yeah, you're, you mentioned that w your option was remembering uh, behind every screen there is a need. Yeah, it's not only remembering, it's actively <laughs> telling myself inside. Uh, it's an action. It's like, what to do? This. To tell myself something consciously. Behind every screen there is a need. It's something I'm telling myself. <laughs> I initiate a conversation with myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you said, and breathe. Yes. And put intention in the breath. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, I like that you took everything. Um, the next one, I mean, it goes back to speaking the unspoken conversation, but when Sonali uh, said that, I wrote down what you said, which was, because I have these people in my life who want to tell me about their day, and I wanted the wording. This, I don't want to listen, just listen, because I called you or I'm here to listen. Yeah. I want to know what's meaningful to you and what you're telling me. Can I hire you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. 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 The way you said it, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks. Just love it. That's a judgment too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you like that one. <laughs> no, I actually loved it. It's not a judgment. But anyways. Anything else? Uh, so, oh, then you were getting to what I wrote down as you were talking to me, which is what's the worst that could happen and then right. what? Right, right. Um, and then is there such a thing as whatever, as whatever the judgment is, an right. idiot. So right. I wrote down, you know, is there an idiot tree, a stupid flower, a selfish cow? Because I really like that. Me too. Um, I'm going to use it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's the first time I use it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one was, what is the world I want to live in and how can I create it with my mind and body and not expecting something from someone else? Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. So that's the preliminary list. That's a lot. That's the last one. So let us now dive into two sections. One, where we look, why this keeps happening? Why do we all keep repeating the same behavior, the same thoughts, the same reactions? For how long? Forever. Huh? Millennia. Millennia, that's close. Seven millennia, let's say. Why we do that? And how we can start more and more choosing something else, something totally different, a different game in our interactions with ourselves and others. So the first topic, I call it the three powers. The three powers that block us from any change that we want to create, any transformation. Although we have the whole <coughs> willingness of the world, okay? How many of us have tried, have taken, I don't know many, hundreds of workshops? Yeah? Read thousands of books or whatever, tried this and tried that, and we have the most sincere intention to react the next time differently to my husband, my mm, my mm, my mm, 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 and it doesn't work. Just let me know. How many of us? Yeah. And how many of us, and that's the sad part, judge ourselves for that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's part of the game, to judge ourselves. That's part of how they, the big they, keep us frightened and repeating old behaviors. So let's go to that. So the three powers are our brain, society, and the family. You, you can take a paper and write down if you want. You have some there? Get some. OK. We need more here. Pass these back. We have paper. Here, his paper. Papers pass pass it on, OK? Yeah. Eric, we have. I 
So when I teach the ongoing, the long, long term compass course, this is part of the core learning. I'm telling you for those of you who might be interested.